Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I wanna to show you how to do your business logo on an acrylic blank. And the reason is because I know a lot of you guys do craft fairs and um, a while ago I had recommended that you guys, instead of doing um, little price tags, that you group things together and use the smaller acrylic blanks to do, you know, sale by three, four, five dollars or whatever it is. Um, and that way it gives you like a cohesive look um, and it clears up the clutter on the table so that you can really display your items because the signs will give you that cohesive look and it's clean, it's one color or two colors and it looks really good. So I thought it would be great to have a business logo sign that also tells people, hey, we want you to follow us, tag us, like us, here are all our social media accounts and to still make it look clean because they can walk by they might like something but still want to customize it or think about it all they need to do is take a quick picture of this logo uh, or you know like this info and it's on their phone because i know like when i get business cards it gets dropped into my purse maybe my daughter takes it out um and then i completely lose track of it so you know everything's on our phone these days all right so let's get started i kind of started already over here this is what my final product is going to look like, but I want to show you how I got everything. First of all, there's nothing that I can do about your logo. Your logo is your logo. Hopefully you have it as an SVG file. I will say that if you don't have it as an SVG file, just start. Either design a new logo or design a logo that's similar, but you want that SVG file because that way you can customize and have it on a t-shirt, have it on acrylic blank, um, do buttons. You can do all those things with a really good, clean file. So it's honestly, it you should just do it. Start over if you need to. All right, that's my little take. Okay, first thing that I always do when I'm doing a design is, um, especially with an acrylic blank, is to actually get that template in here. So let's go and bring in a shape bring in your square this acrylic blank is actually 11 by 14 so what you want to do is for a square to turn into a rectangle you need to unlock it so that way you can have different dimensions for your width and your height so my width i'm gonna want that to be 14 inches and my length i'm gonna want 11. so here's what it's gonna look like um and I like to change the color to a lighter color so that I can see other things on top of it more easily. And then you wanna arrange and send it to the back. Okay, so this is what I did. Here is my logo. At first it took me a while to figure out like, you know, do I wanna center it here and then put all my social media accounts down here? Or in this case, what ended up happening was, as much as I like my logo, these little arrows, it was making it circular and it was really hard to find a good spot for it on this rectangle. I could put it here and then all my stuff, but I liked it like this. So sometimes, you know, you've got to just make some adjustments. So I'm going to get, I'm going to delete my arrows and then I'm going to show you how to use a couple of things. Um, now, I'm going to use a mix of HTV and adhesive vinyl. So I want to show you something. This is my logo on paper and I think you can kind of see like it's really vibrant. Like you can see it through the camera. What I ended up using was, you know, I, I love glitter, but I ended up using glitter HTV on this. So it's got the green, the gold and the black. And it's so glittery. If you ever need to compare like in person, if you have glitter HTV and you have glitter adhesive vinyl, pull out the two. The adhesive vinyl is so dull in comparison to the glitter HTV. The other thing is it would have been virtually impossible for me to get um, glitter adhesive vinyl on paper because I would have had to use the strong um, strong grip transfer tape there's no way I would have been able to transfer it onto paper and not ripped my paper right because that transfer 
tape is bananas. It's perfect to pull up the glitter uh, vinyl, but you'd have to lay it down on on an acrylic blank or something. There's no way that you could put it on paper and, and get away with it. But you can iron it on and your paper is perfect. So what's nice about learning that the acrylic blanks can handle the HTV is that now you just have <clears throat> that many more colors and options to do the, you know, to make it look cool and different, but still clean. You can have multiple shades of gold with different textures and that would be really cool. So anyway, that's what, I mean, really, there's always a time and a place for, for materials. Um, but knowing that we can use both vinyl, adhesive vinyl and HTV, it just gives you that many more colors and options to do your sign. All right, I'm going to stop there. So I like, uh, you know, I'm going to have all my social media accounts down here. Um, and in my logo, the word the and crafter, it's the typewriter font. So I think I'm going to keep that because it's easy to read and that's going to be for all my for all my accounts, but I want to show you two things. So first thing is let's get a um, font lab pad. So this word follow tag words, follow tag and like, um, you know, I want to kind of bring in a cool font, something a little bit different um, that draws everyone's eyes to it. Cause, and I think this looks really cute. So this is a lot of letters. There's no way that I want to connect it in design space. So first, let me show you what it would look like in design space. So the text is city streetwear, I think. And I, this is a new, I, I took a screenshot of this font. Oh no, do I not have it on here? Okay, I'm going to show you how to download it then. Okay. So let's go, let me see, which one do I have? Okay. Sorry. Let me pull this out so you're not distracted by all the crap that I have. <laughs> okay, um, so Create a Fabrica. It's my favorite site these days. So I have a membership to Create a Fabrica. I'm also an affiliate. Um, <clears throat> they have so many fonts. And my membership comes with um, the commercial usage license, so I don't have to keep track of my fonts. But I do keep track of my fonts by using their font cloud tool. So I do have a video tutorial for that. The, um, the under tools, the font cloud, it's free. So you just have to create a free account and please use my link because they keep track of how well I do. <clears throat> but I have a, video tutorial on why it's awesome. So I highly recommend it, but okay. So it's, it's city street wear. All right, here it is. <clears throat> so I'll make sure to include this link, but I just think it's kind of cool. Cause like, uh, most of the fonts that I, I use, they're like, you know, the bounce lettering. I feel like this is a little bit more modern. Um, so anyway, I'm going to download and I'm going to move my face for a second. Whenever I download something, it's down here. And so I'm going to click on this little arrow and I'm going to show in folder. I'm going to unzip this file. So here it is. I'm going to double click on it. And I'm probably <clears throat> the way this font looks, I'm probably going to want the bold. So I'm going to take the city streetwear bold. I'm going to put it in my desktop. And I'll show you why in a second, but you can double click on the bold and it will pop up and you're going to want to install. Um, is it not working? Okay. Here we go. There. <laughs> okay. So you want to install. So when you install it, first of all, now I'm going to have to close out design space, um, to make sure that it's available. But anyway, okay. So, and I already put it in my desktop, right? So I'm going to show you font cloud. So you want to go to font cloud. What's cool about font cloud is you can bring this up on any device anywhere. So I can go to my friend's house, use her laptop, log in, and I'm going to open up font cloud. 
and <coughs> sorry, my throat is killing me. Okay, first what you can do is, let's say I wanna do, uh, what is it? Follow, tag, and like. Oops, not link, like. So then I can see all the fonts that I have. So that's helpful, right? Oh, I do have city street wear. Oh, I know why. Okay, hold on. I put a space in it. So let's go back. Yep, there it is, okay. So let me type it here, follow, tag, and like. So you can see what it looks like. Oh my God, I did link again. But anyway, you see how it doesn't connect, right? Not like this. So this is a lot of letters. I don't wanna move each one, but let's go back. <clears throat> I know I'm all over the place this morning, okay. When you're here, what you want to do is you want to browse and drop all your fonts in here. That's how you will have this like little bank of all your fonts, right? But this is what's cool. Let's say I'm at my friend's house or I'm on a, my laptop broke, died. It doesn't turn on anymore. And all my fonts that I use are on that laptop. I buy a new laptop. All I need to do is go to Creative Fabrica, get into my account. So this is my account. And let's say I like this font, right? So I'm gonna click on it and I download it. I no longer need to remember where all my fonts are. This is my font bank. I can down, once I upload it into here, these are all the fonts that are available in my account. Then for the rest of my life, I can go to any of one of my devices and um, just preview the fonts, and then if I like that one, I'm gonna download it. Whereas I felt like before, so I am on my third computer since I've had um, my Cricut, and I definitely don't have all the fonts that I've, that I've used in year one, because when my laptop died, I couldn't remember all the fonts that I've downloaded or where I downloaded it from. I could download it from Defont, I can download it from Font Bundles, from Creative Fabrica, Font Cloud will take any font no matter where it originated from. So then you can always go back and download it. All right, so that's my little thing on this. But let's go to Font Lab. That's gonna be the other thing that I wanna show you. So once you have Font Lab Pad, this is also another free, um, free app. So when you download it, this is what it looks like. You're gonna go to File, and either you have recent fonts, you can either go here or you can open it and find your fonts, but I already have it here. So here's City Streetwear, right? So look at how fast this is. Follow, tag, and like. I did it again. So it connects everything the way it's supposed to. Um, I really like this font. I think it looks really, really pretty. Okay. So you can see how fast it is. Anytime that I have a project that requires multiple words, multiple names, like if I'm doing um, buckets and I'm doing 22 kids, there's no way I'm doing it in design space. I'm gonna do it here, get all my names, and then all you need to do is go to file, save as, and it saves us an SVG file, and then you bring in that file just like you would anything else, all your other images on design space. So see how annoying that is? Instead, let me delete that. I can go to uploads because I've already done it. But you see here it is, it's just like any other image. Okay, the other cool thing is I'm gonna tell you where I got all these icons. So, it's called the Noun Project and it's free. What's cool about the Noun Project is there are so many icons and they're designed really well, they cut well, they weed well, I love it. So in here, for instance, I'm gonna type in Facebook. And it's gonna give me all these options. This works just like any other site, but I will show you right now. Um, so let's say you liked, like this one looks kinda cool, but I don't wanna deal with all the little dots, but let's say you like this one, okay? So you click on this one, get this icon, 
and we want basic download. Well, it's gonna depend if you're gonna be selling this or not. Since this logo is for myself, um, I'm doing a basic download. I'm gonna continue and I want the SVG files. I'm gonna click on SVG and then it's gonna be here. It's my download. And then I just upload into Design Space. So here I'm gonna upload, upload image, browse, and it's gonna be in my downloads, right? Because I just did it. Uh, where is my downloads? There it is. And it's gonna be here. Now I'm Facebook, right? Just click continue. I don't know why it gives me this pop-up all the time. So here's my little Facebook logo, save. And then now it's here. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna insert the image. So that's where I got all of these. And now it's, you know, an SVG file that's gonna cut well and weed well. I really, really like that site. Okay, so now you know how to bring everything in, right? Um, now it's just a matter of designing like where you like things. So let's go to uploads because I have all these images here. I'm going to just select all of them. And I think I liked this one. Okay. And I'm going to insert. I'm basically recreating it because there's an important couple important design features that I want to show you how to do. So one, I mean, I highly recommend that all your logos are of the same height. So that way it's going to give you a cohesive look, right? So let's look at these. So this one, if you notice, I think this circle is a little bit too thick for me. So this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to bring in another circle. And right now we're kind of just, you know, like with this, you have obviously your own logo. You can write whatever you want. Maybe you don't even have a logo and you just put, you know, follow, tag, and like, and then, you know, have all your accounts or whatever. Um, so this is, again, just like kind of learning the basics of design space and how to make changes to, to things to, to make it fit for your, for your preference. So, all right, so here's my circle. All right, I want it a little bit bigger than my than my um, little globe. So I'm gonna put it right around here. Now obviously right now the way it looks, it's uneven, right, my circle. So what you wanna do is, especially with circles, it's so easy. You grab the two items, go to align, and you wanna center it. So now it's gonna be perfectly centered. Then you could take these two items. Why is it not letting me, oh, okay. So you see this globe, it's in all these different pieces because when you, so when I grabbed these two items, I realized I couldn't slice because it was grayed out. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items. It's going to be my new circle and then my image, right? But look at my image, it's in a bazillion pieces. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the website and you're going to weld it. By welding it, you're taking all these line items and making it one line item. <coughs> So for instance, now where it is, is the, um, here. See, instead of it taking up all these line items, it's now one piece. So when I go to grab the two items, I can now slice, it's not grayed out. So I'm gonna slice. And so you can get rid of all these slice results, right? But this is what it looks like now. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit, you know, more my, the look and feel that I want. Okay, so I wanted everything to be about an inch so that it's not so tiny because my, my whole thing is 14 by 11, so I have a lot of space. I don't want anybody to have to squint, and I also wanna make this low maintenance for me. I want it to cut and weed easily and easy to manage, right? To transfer, however, in whatever way. So let's change this to one inch. So my height's gonna be one inch and that's gonna make it cohesive because everything, they're at different sizes, right? Different um, lengths. So if I make my height one inch, then even though this is one inch, you know, my YouTube sign is longer this way, it's okay because everything is gonna be cohesive. I think it's easier that way than to make the width one inch because if I make this one inch, then this is gonna be 
um, it, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that because then this will be like really short. So anyway, um, let's change the height to one inch for all of these. Oh, and I remember when I worked on this one. For whatever reason, see these two? They're not sliced out. So I'm gonna make this one inch first, and then I'm just gonna slice out. I can see that there's two images, but I can't see my little um, my little play button, right? So I'm gonna slice it out, and then there's the one that I want right there. Okay, so I'm gonna delete these items. Okay. So what I want is I'm going to put these down and of course put them in the order that you want, right? But I'm kind of just showing you what I really want to do. So what you want to, I want to line this up. So I'm going to grab, hit the shift key and grab all my icons and go to align and I'm going to do align left. Okay. And then this one, with let's say this one goes oh no well pretend that these two are the same right with the same handle so i'm going to grab my instagram and my facebook and i'm going to align um i am going to align bottom then now they're all even, right? And then I can type in my stuff. So you kind of just want to line up where you can. Now, the useless crafter, what I want to do is I want to grab the useless crafter and my rectangle, and I also want to align that as well, right? So I'm going to want to center that horizontally so it's right in the middle. And interesting enough, it was in the middle. <laughs> okay, so... Um, let me unflatten this for a sec. Well, I guess you can type it in. Let's go to text and this time I want typewriter. Oops, what happened? And I think I chose typewriter font. All right, so I'm gonna type in the useless crafter. And when I looked at this, I mean, I definitely want to make this um, low maintenance, right? I don't want to make this that small. So um, it's going to have to be a little bit smaller to fit in there. So maybe right around there. Okay, so then I'm just going to duplicate this. And you can, you know, change this however you want to. Um, and then line it up however you want to. Um, to me, it's kind of like whatever space is left, I want to keep this space and this space as even as possible. So let's do this and type in. All right. And we have to, you know, looks like we have to make this smaller. But I would make my font all of the same size. You don't want this to be tiny and this big. So once you figure out your longest one, that's going to be the height. So it looks like, um, let's make it 0.55 just to make it easy. Then that means this is going to be 0.55 as well. Okay. So once you've... Oh... Why is that not? Okay, there. Like, wait a minute, that looks different. Okay, now the cool thing about acrylic blanks is, um, assuming, you know, now you know how to do the design, right? Um, the cool thing is it's, it's a blank, it's see-through, right? So I'm gonna delete this for a second. Pretend this is our this is our finished sign, okay? So I'm gonna put this over here, duplicate it. And part of 
the uh, what's difficult about doing an acrylic blank or or anything transferring anything with um, transfer tape is that you're trying to line it up you want to put it where it's straight and like for instance if you're doing the useless crafter in the middle you also want to make sure that you're measuring things is it you know the right distance down is it centered is it straight when you're thinking about all those things and you're trying to line it up it's it's a lot easier to get bubbles in your transfer because you're also con you're concentrating on so many different things and you're not holding it super taut so what i like to do is i like to um okay so give me a second let's move this what you want to do is you want to grab all your items okay and you want to weld it because you want to make it one image so we're going to make all of our written whatever you want to transfer why is it not doing it okay i'm going to weld it so weird that it's not letting me weld right now because it should all turn to one color um so weird okay let me weld this it's like it's frozen um Okay, there, it's working because it blinked, right? So I'm gonna weld this as well. So what you wanna do is we're basically making all of our, everything that's on top of the acrylic blank, okay, there. You want it to be one, one image, okay? So here, I'm welding my whole design together. Don't worry about the different colors or the different textures, that's over here. This is gonna be our cut file. What we're creating over here is different, so. We're gonna grab these two items and we're gonna align because we wanna make sure that it's centered, right? Okay, so it's centered. What you want to do is you wanna grab these two items and you wanna slice this as well. Yeah, I know, you're like, what the heck? Why do I need to do that? Give me a second. So, come on, slice. Okay, so I think it's sliced, yep, it did. So let's get rid of, oops, hold on. Let's get rid of our slice results. We don't need that. Okay, we don't need this. Oh no, I did the wrong one, hold on. Let me undo it. I don't want this. This is what I want. This sliced up cut image, okay? And so this is 14 by 11. Obviously that's too big, right? So we're gonna slice this in half. I'm gonna bring in a square And I'm gonna make this 11 by 11, because we can technically cut, you know what, let's make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half, because that's what we can cut, right? On our Cricut using 12 by 12 cardstock. So I'm just gonna put this here, and I'm gonna slice this. I know, stick with me. This is gonna be awesome and amazing, okay? Um, gosh, why is it taking so long? Did it? Okay, there, it's slicing. Okay, so with our slice, this is, oh, come on. Let's get rid of all our slice results as soon as it lets me. Oh my gosh, come on, break apart. Okay, here we go. There's one portion. We can get rid of this. Get rid of this. Okay, so this is our sign, right? But we don't want a cut sign. What we want to do is we want to draw it. And we want to draw this one as well. Because when we draw this, you can put it underneath your acrylic sign so you know exactly it's going to draw out where the acrylic sign is and all the words in the middle. So what happens is you're going to have it underneath and you're gonna put it down, then you have your template. You know exactly where the useless crafter goes. You know exactly where the icons go. So you don't have to worry about being straight and centered and all that good stuff. Now you can just worry about keeping it straight and taut so that you can lay it down without any bubbles, okay? So this is what we're gonna draw out. This, on the other hand, is actually our cut file, right? So we don't need, we don't need the acrylic blank. We're gonna delete the acrylic blank. Um, here's where you want, you know, if you want to change the colors and textures, so let's say I want this in gold, I'm going to change this to, you know, 
change all your different colors, all your different materials, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you go to cut it. Okay, so let's go to our Make It screen. So in our Make It screen, this, this is a lifesaver. You're gonna love that you don't have to measure out anything and figure it out. So see on this one, it's gonna draw and then it's gonna cut your paper right here. So it's gonna be perfect for your acrylic sign. You literally put it underneath, you tape it to your acrylic sign. So now you have your template, you know exactly where everything goes. This is just gonna draw out, put in whatever pen, it doesn't matter, right? This is just your template. Here's the second half of the paper because it's 11 by 14. So you are using 12 by 12 cardstock, it's too long, right? So that's why you have two pages where you're drawing and cutting this is all your vinyl so if this if you want to use HTV then you want to make sure you mirror it um, you know I would use a mixture of HTV and adhesive vinyl adhesive vinyl you can just cut as is just make sure whatever is going to be ironed on that it's mirrored and that's all there is to it it's gonna look beautiful i am going to actually make this because i want this logo i want this sign i'm going to show you how to piece it all together please let me know your feedback comments questions you hate it you love it um and if you have any special requests please post it here as well and if you need to send me a file it's an at the all right bye guys